Number seven. Two children of mass 20 kilograms and 30 kilograms sit balanced on a seesaw with the pivot point located at the center of the seesaw. If the children are separated by a distance of three meters, what at what distance from the pivot point is the small child sitting in order to maintain the balance? All right. So first, this uh, object is in balance, and therefore we know that the sum of the torques have to be equal to zero, right? Since it's in equilibrium. So I'm just going to write that down. Sum of the torques is equal to zero. Now, uh, let's take a look at our picture. So we have a certain uh, mass on the left-hand side, the smaller child, and another mass, the larger child on the right-hand side. They are both separated from one another by three meters. Um, so now, since I know this is basically a torque problem, uh, what I need to first do is um, find the force vectors here, right? Since we know the mass, we can easily solve the forces because it's just the weight, right? So the force, I'll say, of the first uh, child will be simply 20 kilograms multiplied by 9.8. So 20 times 9.8 is 196. So 196 newtons. And then the force for the second child will simply be 30 times 9.8 and 294. Okay, so this is 294 uh, newtons. All right, wonderful. Uh, so now what we're going to uh, look to do is uh, expand now the sum of the torques. Okay, so there's two torques, one in red, one in yellow. So that's basically saying torque one plus torque two will equal zero. Will equal zero, oops, will equal zero. So let me now first alter the sign of one of these two torques. Okay, I'll plug in the negative now so I don't have to worry about it later. So think about the uh, two forces here and how they would rotate the seesaw. This force in red would rotate the seesaw in the counterclockwise direction, therefore that's positive. The yellow uh, torque or force would rotate the bar in the clockwise direction, and therefore this is negative. So what I'm going to do here, so I don't have to worry too much about signs and whatnot, just plug in the negative sign there. Okay, uh, now let's expand the two terms. So here, uh, recall that the right sign, the angles are all 90 degrees between the lever arm and the uh, forces. Therefore, the signs will all just cancel because sine of 90 is 1. So this will be R1, F1, minus R2, F2 will equal zero. Now, what I'm noticing is I can't solve this, okay, reason being is because I don't know R1 and I don't know R2, right? In the picture, guys, take a look. This would be R1, the distance right here, okay? R2 would then be the distance there. So I don't know either of those values, so therefore I can't solve for R1 if I don't know R2. What I need to do then is change gears and I need to think about well, can I create a formula that relates R1 and R2 together so that maybe I can solve it and then plug the result in for one of those two, like a system of equations? And we can, right? What do you notice about the relationship between R1 and R2, knowing the total distance between them? Right, you know that if you add up these two distances, you get three, right? So basically, we can create this formula, R1, let me put it in black, R1 plus R2 will equal three, right? Three meters, okay? So now what we can look to do is we can look to uh, solve, right, this equation for either R1 or R2, but since we're being asked the distance from the pivot point of the small child, meaning we're asked to solve for R1, I'm gonna solve this thing for R2, and the reason being is because that now gives me R2 in terms of R1, and then I can plug it into here and I'll just have R1. So now it's R1, F1, minus 3.00 uh, times, well, not times, sorry, minus R1, don't forget your parentheses, times F2. will all equal zero. All right, now all I need to do is solve this for R1 and that's my answer. So distribute the F2 first. So R1, F1, uh, minus 3, F2, minus 3, F2, uh, plus uh, R1, F2 will equal zero. Okay, so now what I need to do is uh, I need to, again, remember, solve for R1. So what I notice here is these two terms have a common a factor between the R1s. So I'm going to bring those together, and then I'm going to add this term on over to the right-hand side. Okay. Now what that gives me, that gives me uh, this. So it's gonna be R1 times F1 uh, plus F2 is equal to then positive three F2. 
And then to solve for R1, I just have to divide this value on out from this side, right, and divide it onto that side. So let me just write that result there. So there's going to be F1 plus F2. And then I can cancel this term essentially and erase the whole thing, make it look a little nicer. So that's just going to be equal to R1 now. And there's our formula. All right, so all we now need to do is plug stuff in. So here, don't worry about the signs, just plug it in. So, because I already took care of that sign. So here we have 3F2, all right? Uh, well, what is F2? Well, F2 is gonna be 294. All divided by then uh, F1, which is 196. One, sorry, 196, plus then F2, which is again was 294. And voila, just solve. So three times 294 divided by 196 plus 294. And we get a value of 1.8, which does make sense. So this is 1.8. So that is the, and that's in terms of um, meters, right? Because yeah, they said three meters. Okay. And that's in terms of meters. So that is the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. This video helped you out at all. Hit that like button too. And I will see you in the next question. Take care.